Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and today I'm going to do my first Pokemon discussion video. And I know quite a lot of people that go on my Discord and on this channel like Pokemon, so I thought I'd try this out as like a side video. And if you guys enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, so you get notifications for whenever I upload a video. Anyway, today's topic is talking about the controversial battle between Pikachu and Snivy in Pokemon Black and White. There's a, in my opinion, a misconception, because everyone thinks Snivy is level 5, and this really annoys me, and like, in lists of what people hate in Pokemon, they always go, oh, I hate Pikachu being beaten by a Snivy, a level 5 Snivy. And I just think this isn't the case, and I'm going to explain why. So to begin, although some people will disagree with me on this, Pokemon levels don't exactly exist in the anime. And I know very early on in the show, like in the first season, they do reference the, the attacks Eevee learns, I believe. Uh, oh no, it's Pidgey, that's it. There's a clip where I can't exactly remember his name, but he's one of the Eevee brothers, the one that hasn't evolved his Eevee yet. And his brother's telling him about like which Eevee he should evolve his one into. Eeveelution, I should say. And yeah, he explains about Pidgey learning like tackle and sand attack and all that at levels. And although technically at that point in the anime they did kind of exist, you've got to remember that um basically very early on in the Pokemon anime, they were still testing out a lot of concepts and ideas. And obviously the levels are in both the card game and the games primarily. And basically they're referencing the games. And I think originally they may have intended Pokemon to have levels in the anime. However, if you actually watch through the show, I don't believe there's any other mention of levels for Pokemon at all in the entire show after that. So, in my opinion, and from what we can see, this is essentially an early concept in the anime, which I'm guessing gets scrapped because it kind of destroys the point of the anime because the point of the anime is to show that every Pokemon can be powerful and reach you know, unlimited potential with the love and support of their trainers. And if every Pokemon had a level, it would kind of ruin that in the anime because, for example, let's be honest, Pikachu would easily be level 100 by now if um, he had an actual level and he wouldn't lose to certain Pokemon that he has lost against. And from what we can see in the anime, it's definitely a case of it's more realistic where although the Pokemon do get stronger, they can be caught off guard and get knocked out in like... A little like in Dragon Ball, when Goku is incredibly powerful, but he can still get blindsided. Like when he lets his guard down in Resurrection F and gets blasted by a blaster, for example. Or in the Boo Saga, when Majin Vegeta knocks Goku out. Those are times where, although Goku is extremely powerful, he can still get knocked out. And I think this is very similar to how the way the Pokemon anime works. Because, obviously, Pikachu's been knocked out by both legendary Pokemon and Snivy. And anyway, I think you guys get my point. I After... The really early like part of the show. I believe they just scrapped the concept of levels in the anime and that's why I believe Snivy isn't level 5 and it's not so stupid to think he could beat Pikachu because I'll explain later on but you'll find out. Okay so um my second point even if the levels did exist in the anime Sly- Slyby? <laughs> I mean Snivy is definitely not level 5 because it knows the move Leaf Storm and as you know who who have played the like Pokemon black and white games. Snivy actually doesn't learn Leaf Storm at level 5. He learns it like much later in his evolutionary line. I believe he learns Leaf Tornado first, then Leaf Storm, when he's a Servine, I believe. Or, ext or an extremely high leveled Snivy. So even if um the levels did exist, Snivy would definitely not be level 5 anyway. So either way, it kind of debunks the point of it being level 5, even though the levels don't exist, in my opinion, in the anime. Okay, so point number 3, the story. So in the episode, the first episode of Black and White, Pikachu, oh yeah, spoilers if you haven't seen Black and White, but it's r pretty old now, so if you're watching this, you probably have seen it already. But Pikachu gets struck by lightning by Zekrom in his first and only appearance in that anime, which is kind of disappointing, but I kind of like it the way Zekrom stays ambiguous throughout the anime and he just vanishes after that. But yeah, Pikachu gets shocked by Zekrom and his incredibly powerful lightning, his blue lightning to be exact. And if I remember correctly, Pikachu can't use its electric moves for until a couple of episodes after the first episode, if I remember correctly. I believe Ash takes Pikachu to Professor Juniper's lab, and 
she gets rid of all the excess electricity to bounce Pikachu's body out so he can use his electric moves again. So basically, Pikachu gets struck by lightning, and when Pikachu... Pikachu feels weird afterwards, obviously, because um, he's technically sick after that, and Pikachu feels fine after a couple of minutes, thinking he's okay. And then um, when Ash fights Trip and his Snivy, obviously his Snivy isn't like a newly bred Pokemon. It's obviously, although it doesn't have, hasn't had a trainer yet, it has been hanging out with Professor Juniper and it definitely is a lot stronger than, you know, it should be. Like if you compare it to the games, but the anime is a lot different where the Pokemon go on their own little adventures and train you know, on their own. So Snivy obviously got into some scraps and it learned Leaf Tornado through leveling up quite a lot. And another thing which kind of implies Snivy's got a lot of experience in battle is that um, the next time Ash actually sees Trip, I believe Snivy's already evolved into Servine. So it took barely any time for it to evolve, which shows it's already very powerful as a Snivy. Secondly, Pikachu is basically stuck to using just Quick Attack and Iron Tail in that battle because obviously its electric attacks don't work and it's taken aback a lot by not being able to use Volt Tackle and Thunderbolt and that lets Pikachu's guard down because it's, you know, not paying attention as it should be because it's shocked about not being able to use its electric moves. So then Snivy takes advantage of that and deals some crippling blows to Pikachu and this makes a lot more sense as to why Pikachu was defeated and Snivy's Leaf Tornado was extremely powerful and Basically, Pikachu was having a Goku moment where his guard was completely down and um, he got caught unawares and basically got critical hit, I guess you could say, because um, Pikachu wasn't defending itself at all and wasn't ready for the attack. So, in my opinion, it makes kind of a lot more sense that Pikachu would lose to Snivy, although it's not something we probably wanted. Uh, it makes a lot more sense when you actually think about it in the context of the anime. And I'm wondering what you guys think about this. I personally don't think levels exist in the anime and that's pretty much why this happens because Pikachu would technically beat a lot of Pokemon in the series if he, the levels did exist. And it makes the anime more entertaining because it's more of a fast-paced action anime. And it's like Dragon Ball where you don't know who's going to win because it's based on like the Pokemon's reaction times and things like that. And the moves it uses and how it adapts to their situation. But basically because Pikachu had his guard down for most of the battle because it was confused about not being able to use its electric moves, it got nailed pretty hard. And I think that's why he lost so easily, you could say. And another reason, if levels did exist, Pikachu's quick attack would instantly knock Snivy out if it was level 5 because Pikachu would be very high level, so I think I debunked it pretty good. But what do you guys think about the situation? I'm interested to know what you guys think in the comments, and I'm kind of sick of hearing that Pikachu got beat by a level 5 Snivy. It blatantly wasn't level 5, because levels don't exist in the anime. And that's been a real pet peeve of mine ever since Black and Whites came out, and people basically just go like, Oh no, Pikachu got booted by a level 5 Snivy. I just find it really annoying. But yeah, I think that also kind of explains the series a little more. And if you actually watch the series, like, you can tell levels don't exist. And it's just based on, like, if Pokemon were real. It's actually like a realistic battle where Pikachu and all the Avashes of a Pokemon can be, like, caught off guard and knocked out if they get hit by a certain move or any move at a certain point. And although, kind of, experience kind of does exist, like, Pikachu's an extremely skilled battling. Pokemon because it's battled a lot of other Pokemon in the past. So in that respect experience does exist but I don't think it equates to levels. The Pokemon get stronger but they can also be caught off guard whenever. So that pretty much explains my point. But anyway let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it because I want to see if you guys enjoy these other kind of anime topics and discussions. Make sure to comment below what other Pokemon topics you want me to discuss. I know I've been away for a while but I've recently got a new job so yeah that's why. I'm definitely gonna keep uploading so don't worry. I have a discord server, the link to it's in the description as well as the link to my patreon. If you guys want to see more videos from me um consider donating I guess I should say because it would really help me make more videos faster and I am still waiting to get monetized by YouTube so yeah YouTube can probably tell I'm not happy about that because it keeps denying me and then for no reason pretty much because I've been making a lot more discussion videos, so yeah, I don't know why I'm getting denied. But anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and also, don't forget everyone, subscribe to me, because I'm definitely 18.